it's Christy from Creatively Christy and today we're gonna do something I haven't done yet on YouTube for you guys and I'm going to plan in my fitness planner but just the layout is a lot different from other planners and I just wanted to give you guys a, a look-see into how I do it I am currently with Beachbody so that's how I do my workouts and these are my other spreads, but we are going for this week, the 11th to the 17th, and I am going to use, where did they go, the fitness accessory book and the wrong wrong fitness book. I really like this one. I like. I never used to like Wrong Wrong before because I didn't want like people in my planner. I just like like random other things and flowers and you know seasonal stuff. But I am warming up to the Wrong Wrong. I think they discontinued it though. So so sad, you guys. Okay. I do like motivational quotes. Keep me going. Sometimes these pre-planning sticker sheets are really hard to get the stickers off of depending on the sticker. I find if it's like th these clear kind of stickers, it's harder. Okay. So right here is the, I'm gonna start here. This is a food log. So I just put these breakfast, lunch, and dinner stickers. to line up but and I'm gonna be also using an app but I will put it in here just to keep it all together I have a hard time planning digitally because it's like in the phone in an app separate like I can't just like open it up and be like here it all is I'm just I guess I'm old school I love the paper planners plus who doesn't like stickers right So I talked to a trainer and they told me I should be eating around 1,500, 1,600 calories. So I'm going to try my best to keep track of it, but it's hard. There's a lot of math that I don't really have time to do because of the children. And I don't want to be making separate, like separate meals for me and the kids because that can get expensive but I might have to do that just to get down to goal weight and in that healthy um, nutritious mindset because they do say that um, weight loss is 80% nutrition 20% exercise and that you can't out train a bad diet so I'm not terribly bad with food. I mean, I before I ever even started Beachbody, I was really bad. Like, just eating junk food all the time. It was ridiculous. And I was the heaviest I had ever been. My heaviest was 181, I think. And um, I just needed, like, I needed to not be doing that anymore and get back to a healthier me plus it's not like people say oh who are you trying to look good for and I just think that's ridiculous because uh, when you eat healthy and you are active you feel better like mentally as well as physically it's not all about the looks it's just like a benefit to it 
I don't like feeling like crap after I eat. You know, you want to feel good. Not bloated. So back in the summer of 2019, I gave up um, pop and juice because they were like my vices. I would just fill a cup of ice or fill a cup with ice and then just down juice and stuff. My um, super vice was iced tea. And I know a lot of you that might be watching are from America and our iced tea in Canada is different than yours. You would, in your country, it would be sweet tea. I would just drink sweet tea every day, all day, and we would get the powder. So I would make it pretty strong. And I think that's where a lot of my weight gain came from, all that sugar. I do miss it sometimes, but I just use a pre-workout that tastes like it, so. Fixed that. Um, oh no. You guys, I ripped a sticker. I don't know why these are so hard to get out. It's like, is it like they're older? They're older stickers. Oh, I am tearing it. I'm just gonna go grab a new one. So this is the book that I was pulling from, and yes, this is the exact sticker that I had just wrecked. Okay. I don't really put anything up here today because, or in the today spot, because I have my food here. And I have my exercise down here. So this isn't really needed, but I just like to make it cute. These stickers are pretty cute there. And I don't know if I'll be able to get that other one off either. Oh, that one's tearing too. Oh, 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 I got it, you guys. Yay. And I love the quote on this one. It says, strong women lift each other up. And I find that so true. And I wish more women would be like that. We should stop competing with each other. Why? What is the point? Does it make you any happier to compete with other women? Like, uh, the only person I want to compete with is myself and that's really all I need I mean, it shouldn't matter what anyone else is doing that's not gonna help me I like to find people that inspire me to do better I have a friend that she's um, lost a lot of weight with Beachbody and is very inspiring and she has four kids to take care of and she can still find the time to do it. So that whole no excuses thing is really actually true. And now she's trained in fitness. So I like to surround myself with people that inspire me and healthy people. I find that when I eat healthier and I'm active, my outlook on things are better. And I'm not like focusing on the negative. It's just all positive. Well, not always, that, that would be crazy. If I was 100% positive all the time, that's like impossible, no one can do that, but also was behind on my meditations, so I gotta restart them. It's hard to find that time when you're busy all day looking after kids. And my oldest is in grade three and we've kept her home this year. So she, um, she's a lot to handle here because you know, they listen to the teacher because the teacher has authority and they respect the teacher, but when it's mom, we think we can just goof off, so 
it is challenging, but I do like having her home most of the time. <laughs> okay, so these are all for my meditations. Now, I'm not going to put my food in here because I've tried that way of fitness planning and it doesn't work and I never eat what I had on there. So, I'm just going to put my meditations in. I should really take these out. It's so much easier to write in them when they're not in the book. And that's what I love about Happy Planner is that you can just rip the pages out and then throw them back in there. So. So if you guys can, there, you can see that there. This one is day one. You guys are interested these meditations are on Beachbody on demand if you're looking to find them um, being present and day three your best Now this word doesn't make any sense because <gasps> I've written it six times now. Okay, day four. Stillness and silence. Then, so the nutrition part is difficult for me, as I've already said, but the meditation part is hard for me too because I'm a very energetic person. I mean, I haven't been lately because my iron levels have been so low, but. Usually I'm an energetic person. It's hard for me to sit still for even like five minutes unless I am crafting. Uh, day five. Relax. And refuel. morning. I guess I'm doing this one in the morning. Positive mindset. And day seven is blessed, not stressed. And I guess you could take that either way depending on what you believe in. I don't think in the meditation they talk about God, but I guess you can just, you know, think of it in a religious way if you are religious. I'm not, so I just take that as grateful for everything I have. And the program I'm doing right now is Bar Blend, which is available on Beachbody On Demand. I'm not a coach. I don't work for them. It's just telling you guys what I'm doing. So, and write that across the board here. 
I am on week three. I've done it before, but I have not been working out the past eight months because of my iron. So I have been pretty much inactive. I haven't gained too much, thank God. But um, I, when you're inactive that long, right, you're just, you're out of shape. So I started with this one to get back into shape. It's still hard, but it's just more of the beginner side. And I made a mistake there because they give you two rest days. That's another reason why I started it, so I can do other things. Um, and this is classic full body blend three. And I did that this morning. Booty blend is my favorite because I'm your stereotypical white girl in that aspect and I have no booty, so I would like to build one. Cardio blend. This is all for that booty. Um, and then, okay, core. Blend three and lean legs blend three. Okay, so I am just going to that's bugging me that long. On the weekends, I will do more treadmill time than on the weekdays. Sorry guys, my words are not coming out. Um, I did do half hour of treadmill this morning. Uh, it was about two kilometers. I had to stop because I have blisters all over my heel, so it was hurting. Tomorrow I'm going barefoot on it. So I will fill in my treadmill time and my distance as I do them because there's no point in doing that now. If I set a goal for like say four kilometers in like an hour or whatever, what if I want to go over it or what if my feet are in pain again and I can't meet it so I just do it as I go and on the weekend too I'll be doing more treadmill time and maybe I'll add a core another core workout in there that's the area I want to most improve we'll see when that happens but yeah and then the my food I will enter as or Fill in as I go. I don't know what's wrong with my words today, you guys. They are not here for me. But this is my fitness spread for the week. Um, it's fun. It's colorful. I like it. It's keeping me motivated. So if you like it, give this video a like. If you want to see more of my videos, then hit the subscribe button. Thanks, guys. See you later.